my name is Amy from Sterling Elementary, and, th and this is my weather question. How does weather balloons not crash into airplanes and telephone poles? Amy, that's a great question. I've never gotten that one before. Why don't weather balloons crash into telephone poles or airplanes? Because balloons are going up at a thousand locations around the world twice every single day, and there's even more locations. This is what a weather balloon looks like when it goes up. In fact, I want to show you here. We'll show you some video of the whole process. That balloon is rather large, by the way. It's not your garden variety balloon here. It's filled with hydrogen, and that right there is the radio sound, the, the uh, instrument that weather, that measures all of the weather as it goes up into the sky. We use the weather balloon to find out what's happening up well above us. And so when the person goes out to launch, they do set the Boise Airport. You can see they're in the clearing, so there's no telephone poles nearby. That's a Doppler radar there in the background at this particular weather office. The balloon goes up. It's got a parachute hanging there as well. And the bottom part of that is the weather instrument going up. When it's launched, the tower issues what's called a NOTAM, a notice to airmen that the weather balloon has been launched. They also let them know by issuing that NOTAM when the balloon reaches 10,000 feet and then 25,000 and feet. That way they kind of watch out for it. And as the balloon rises, because of the change in air pressure, the balloon gets rather large. It'll be 40, 50 feet in diameter when it bursts some 20 miles high where, where planes aren't even flying. So the pilots are careful to watch out for these weather balloons. Great question again from Star Elementary as we launch, launch the weather balloons to gather the data. In fact, I've been showing you these charts here. This is the information that comes back from the weather balloon. It's very important and it's very good that one's launched right here at the airport in Boise because it gives us some very specific information very close by, helping me to predict the weather for you. And